Oh, here we're back on the basket case. <laughs> the 800 Polaris motor. As you see, I kind of got <clears throat> started here. I put the new, these new bearings in. And I set this up on top of this. So the, uh, which as I can see now, it ain't gonna, won't matter. So I can go ahead and set it nice and flush on the thing. But, <clears throat> this stuff. The cam just slips in there. You see there, the cam just slips in there. So the original thing that the cam went bad on this. And I'm like wondering why would they need to tear this thing all apart like they done just to change the cam. Because all they get is all you can do is pull this off, pull the cam out. So I don't know understand what, what why they did that. But uh, here's the oil pump. This next one, I'll start put the oil pump in there. Uh, maybe, maybe I won't. Let me see here. I'm trying to figure out what to do next. So this thing gets silicone together, and it, I get a seal. I got my seal. This is my kit here, and then here we have this seal, new seal. So we'll start putting this thing together and I'll bring you along here. I'm going to put you in the uh, stand and uh, start putting this together. All right, here I got this set in here <clears throat> and I use some of this sticky stuff here. It works pretty good for putting on these bearings. Got a wall oil pump in there. Uh, it's four bolts. They, you go through here is where you get them in there. Go through these holes. Put the four bolts on there. Then I squirted some oil down in here. That's the port for it, which goes over to here, sucks up from here, which are, there's the pickup right there. Uh, let's see what else I got. I put this, this bracket on here. Two bolts there, and the other one will come on when it goes up here. Now I'm ready to silicone this up and uh, put these together. Now I'll put my seals on later. So let's get this thing together and see what we got. Uh, I'm gonna oil these up. I like oiling all these before I get too far, before I, just to make sure the oil's on there. So when you start, first start up, it's gonna be uh, good and lubricated. We don't want no scoring or nothing. So I'll bring you back on when I'm setting this Setting the two two together here. All right, there I just took this. And make sure you got clean fingers here. Like having gloves on. You kind of smear, even it out a little bit here. Around all the way on we're going. And around that little hole there, which I don't think it's that big important to be around that hole. Because it's all, this is all going to be in oil. So really I probably didn't need to do that. I might make that very light. Whatever I do put there, make it very light. Kind of clean that up a little bit. Because I really don't need it. This is, putting this on just to keep all the oil and everything coming out when you put the cases together. Now I hope I'm not forgetting something because... This is my first time putting one of these 800 motors together. I did get a manual, and uh, I didn't, I looked at it, I really didn't see anything else that was in here. And I see that moved on me a little bit. One of those, one of my uh, bushings there, I'm probably right in the way there, mm -hmm. um, bushings. Pop, trying to pop out of there. Don't know why. But I'll need to put it back in there. Make sure it's. Oops. I need that. Oh, that ain't working good. Oh, it's moved on me, I think. Oh, there it is. Alright, it moved on me. So you gotta watch that. Make sure there's. 
your bushings don't move on you there. Uh, that one moved. We got plenty of stuff on there. A little oil. Make sure these are. I think these are pretty well oiled, but I just want to make for sure. Can move. It's going to drip through right now. If I can get those later. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's set. Let's marry this thing together. Everything looks good. Make sure all my all the bushings are down. And something come out of there. Here we go. Now my thing just crushed. I'm going to pull it out of there. Well, it looks good, don't it? All right, well, I need to pull my, which I should have already did. I'm going to pause you now. I'm going to get all my bolts together and bring you back on. All right, there we found some bolts. Because since I didn't take this thing apart, I don't know what they look like. So where they go, so I'm just going to have to look at them as I put them in here. First of all, I just hope they're all there. I tell you, no matter who takes these things apart, myself, that seems like there's, if you're not very careful, you are going to lose something. Seems like you cannot do it without losing something. All right. I think that's everything. Those look like 13s to me. Let's find out. Yeah, that's a 12. Yep, so the 13. I don't know. Let's see, this looks like a 13. There we go. Got a 13. Okay. Let's slip these in here. You get the point, don't you? Alrighty, well, I got that tightened down. I'm going to go ahead and put this last remaining nut and bolt in here. It's for this uh, plate. Before I forget it, everything's tight. I went around and made these all, make sure those were tight too. Alright, so really, what I'm going to need to do next, I think, is um, get this thing, the timing going on with this uh, creature here. That's the wrong one. I must go on this. I don't know what that is. Almost. I don't know. I'm trying to. Oh, this goes here. So why did they? What's going on there? I need to check some stuff out. I'll be back here for what's going on with this. All right, here I uh, work this down in here. Now you got these two dots here. Get you over here. 
you got to line up. See that? Those dots have got to line up. That's for this is for the harmonic balancer. Oh crap! No, I just dropped that down in there. But that's for the harmonic balancer. So pull it out with that. And then we're going to put this on here. That'll tighten that down. So these two dots lined up. This don't matter. This is oil pump. It don't matter. But this cam will. So that's what's coming up. So I got to find all the parts of that. Like I said, bring you back on. I tightened this one down. Now if you look on here closely, there's right there. See here? Oops. See the little dot? That lines up with that dot. So I'll have to turn it. I'll show you, bring you back when I get her done. Okay, now the difference is this one here is like a spring washer. As you can see, it's thinner. Uh, see, it's thinner than that one. And they call that a spring washer. So and this is a regular washer. So you want to make sure that's torqued down. You want to make sure these are, see the dot there? I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a dot there. Yeah, I think you can see it there and there line up these line up this don't matter because this is the oil pump oil pump don't care There's no timing on that. So that should be all about it right there How this should be timed up and if you look Here we go My paper here shows it How it all goes there And that ain't wanting to focus at all, is it? Let me back it all the way up. There we go. That's how they show it, say it should go, timing marks. That there and then that there. And uh, this is how it all kind of goes in there. They're kind of showing it there. And this. and this is some of the other stuff here. How this all goes together. So, alrighty, let me back that out. Too close. There we go. So, okay, that's all together. Ugh. Now, um, let's see. So, it's kind of nice with this situation because it. It just eliminates a chain so I kind of like this being just gears uh, makes it a little more tough or bulletproof I might say there's those screws for the oil pump boom boom four of them and that's how you put them on there and you can read this is this side up uh, this one says it too this side up so they tell you where everything should go Alrighty, well, let me figure out which direction I'm going to go next, uh, and I'll bring you back and uh, see what I want to do here. Alright, well, I had to clean this up. I decided to jump on this. So I cleaned the gasket off of there, and I got, uh, I got to clean the gasket off of here, and I got to change out that. That's that seal. So I got a new one of those. And, uh, all right, so I'll bring you back home and get that, and we start trying to put this puppy on. Bring you back on then. Hey, well, as you see, there's quite a big difference. Got that thing stuck together. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't videotape it, but I gave you us what to do on putting the, um, Lifters in, they just slide right in. It's real simple. <clears throat> just put some oil on them. Uh, now, when you put the pistons on, you put the pistons in this first, in the cylinder, and then you put it down onto it. <clears throat> then you set this on top, and then put your push your pins in, and put your clips in. I tried it the other way. I was struggling with this thing. It was a pain. So I finally figured that's the way to do it is to do that. So 
so hopefully that helps somebody. <clears throat> now what I'm looking to do is I gotta take this head and replace the valve seals on this. So I, I have other pictures on how on other videos on how to do that, so I ain't gonna show that. But I'll bring it back on when we get this thing stuck together and uh start putting everything else back together there. So I just wanted to bring you up to date on what's going on. So after I get that valve seals in there, come back, we'll start putting this thing together. Uh we got you know, all this stuff over here to put together. We got a bunch of things to do. So all right, now I'll bring it back then. Alrighty, well, I got the head gasket put on, and I got these all put on. Found out, I guess these out ones don't get a valve seal, only the inner ones do. Uh, I don't know why they sent me four valve seals, but that's what they did. So, it kind of threw me off, I had no way into that before. Like I guess this is my first time. Messing with playing 800 here. <clears throat> so, a lot of things I probably don't know. Alright. So, now, let's see here. Put all these down here. Push rods. Clean that up there. There we go. And then we got our lifters. So, put these on. I think these are ten. They look like ten. I'm going to have to look up on how these should be adjusted because um, I have no clue on how these should be adjusted. These, uh, all of these, I don't have no clue. <clears throat> so I'll have to look that up. Let me zip these on. And I probably messed up here. Hold on a second. <clears throat> this might be difficult to get to. Yeah. Getting ahead of myself. Let me put these on. Ooh. Come on. Alright, I gotta torque these down, get the torque specs, and just torque those down, and then I'll bring you back. 